write down the equation of the exponential graph shown below of the form y is equal to a raised to x minus b plus c. So just looking at the graph, as it's an exponential graph, the asymptote is, it's passing through 1, so we can say y is equal to 1. So using this information, can we find a, b, or c? You can pause the video and try to do this yourself if possible. So, well, this is approaching 1. This, is all, this exponential graph is always above 1. So we can write your c is 1. So we can say y is equal to a raised to x minus b plus 1, just like that. Now you have got two unknowns, a and b are unknowns, which are real numbers. Uh, uh, a and b are constants. A and b are unknown numbers, which are constants, and we need to find out a and b. Uh, so basically, if you've got two unknowns or two constants to find, you have to write, you should be able to write at least two equations. So, well, this graph is passing through this one point, which is very easy point to substitute, which is 0, 3. So what we are saying is when x is 0, y is 3, and this point is when x is 1, y is 5. So we're going to substitute these two points in the equation and get to equation in terms of a and b. So let's substitute this. So I can say, well, y is equal to 3. So I can say 3. Let me show the working here. 3 is equal to uh, a raised to 0 minus b is negative b plus 1. So taking away 1 from both sides. So if you take away 1 from this side, you can take away 1 from this side. So this becomes 2 is equal to a raised to negative b. Let us leave this as equation 1. Let's call this equation 1. Now, if you substitute this value, so this coordinate, when x is 1, y is 5. So, well, we can say 5 is equal to a raised to 1 minus b plus 1. Now, taking away 1 from both sides, if you take away 1 from this side, you have to take away 1 from this side. So, we can say 4 is equal to a raised to 1 minus b. Okay, again, you can pause this video and try to think what can we do with these two equations to get a and b. Well, I'm going to divide 2 by 1. So, or let him, let's divide like this. If I go a raised to 1 minus b divided by a raised to negative b would be equal to Looking at equation 2, what is a raised to 1 minus b? Well, that is 4, and this is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And using the rules of indices, this is a raised to 1 minus b divided by a raised to negative b. So using the rule of indices, I can say, well, that is equal to a raised to 1 minus b, 1 minus b, uh, let me write this again, a raised to negative b. So using the rules of indices, this is a raised to 1 minus b, take away negative b is equal to 2. So opening the bracket, this is a raised to 1 minus b plus b is equal to 2. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is this implies a raised to 1, a raised to 1 is a, so a is 2, so a is 2, so now we can say, well, this equation becomes y is equal to 2 raised to, 2 raised to x minus b plus 1, so now we have to figure out b. For that, again, we can substitute this value, this back in this equation. So, well, 3 is equal to 2 raised to, what is this? I'm going to put 0, 0, 0 minus b is negative b is equal to, sorry, plus 1, plus 1. So, taking away 1 from both sides, you can say 2 is equal to 2 raised to negative b. And this is 2 raised to 1. 
So comparing both sides, what does this imply? Negative B is equal to uh, 1, which implies in place of negative B, you don't need to write anything more. We can say in place of negative B, I can put plus 1. Okay, negative B is plus 1. So the equation of this exponential graph is y is equal to 2 raised to, in place of negative b, you can put plus 1. So this is x plus 1 plus 1. So let's confirm this on a calculator. The, these points, so we can confirm when x is negative 1. So this is one point you can confirm. When x is negative 1, y is 2. Your y-intercept should be 3, and when x is 1, y should be 5. So go to graph and type in the equation 2 raised to bracket x plus 1. Uh, let me delete it. Plus 1. And then graph it. So you can make it. So now g sol and y-intercept. When x is 0, y is 3. When x is 1, y is 5, g sol, f6, f1. When x is 1, y should be 5, okay? And then again, g sol, f6, f1. When it is negative 1, it should be 2. When x is negative 1, when x is negative 1, yeah, when x is negative 1, y is 2. So the answer is right, okay? So let's do one more. Now, again, this you can do yourself. This is a DK curve, okay? Exponential curve and DK curve are basically, you can term it as exponential curves. Okay, or the, this is a called a uh, uh, DK curve and the previous one was a growth curve. So this is 0, 5. 0, 5, and this point is which is this point, 2 comma negative 3. Again, you can pause the video and try to do the, uh, this yourself. Now, what's the y-intercept here? Sorry, the asymptote is y is equal to negative 4. y is equal to negative 4 is the asymptote. So you can write the equation y is equal to a raised to x minus b minus 4. So I'll do this faster so that so I can put this point so that is phi is equal to a raised to negative b take away 4. Now to undo this negative 4 I have to add 4 to both sides. So if you add 4 to both sides you can say 9 is equal to a raised to negative b. So this is equation this is equation 1 and now I can put 2. When x is 2, y is negative 3. So this is negative 3 is equal to a raised to 2 minus b take away 4, or minus 4. Adding 4 to both sides, you can say 1 is equal to a raised to 2 minus b. This is equation 2. So the same process, I'm going to do 2 divided by 1, this divided by this. So if you divide this by this, you have to divide 1 by 9. So I can say a raised to 2 minus b over a raised to negative b is equal to 1 over 9. So now using exponent uh, rules of indices, this is a raised to 2 minus b take away negative b is equal to 1 over 9. So let me scroll this slightly up. So this becomes, this is negative b and plus b. This is plus b. So this and this gets cancelled. So it's a squared is equal to, I'll write this in the bracket, and can I write this as 1 over 3, the whole squared. So comparing both sides, I can say what is a? a is 1 over 3. So this is a DK curve, which is 0 0.33. To get the exact value, you have to put 1 over 3. So 
Now the equation becomes y is equal to 1 over 3 raised to x minus b minus 4. Now I can again put this point in this equation. So I can say phi is equal to 1 over 3 raised to negative b minus 4. Adding 4 to both sides, 9 is equal to 1 over 3 raised to negative b. So what can we do? So this is, so I can say this is 3 squared is equal to 1 over 3. Can I write this as 3 raised to negative 1 raised to negative b? So this is where your algebra skills should be good. So this is 2 raised 3 squared is equal to 3 raised to b. Okay, so your b, this implies, what is b? Your b is plus 2. In place of b, you can put plus 2. So the equation of this is, I'll write the equation here. So y is equal to 1 over 3 raised to x minus 2 minus 4. Let's check this. So go to graph and type in like this, delete bracket 1 divided by 3 raised to, again put this in the bracket, x minus 2. Sorry, I have to delete one of the x minus 2 minus 4. Okay, so we'll have to scroll down. Okay, so yeah, if you make it standard, you can see the whole graph. So this is a graph, G sol y intercept. 0, 5, when x is 2, y is negative 3. G sol y calc, when x is 2, y is negative 3.